Hey guys, my name is Jill. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, then welcome. Today we're doing this super glowy skin tutorial and I'm wearing all Ana Luisa jewelry. They are a ethical, sustainable jewelry brand I've been working with for over a year and they also use recycled silver and gold, which is amazing. I have all the information in the description box if you guys wanna go check them out and I also have a code. So if you wanna see how to get this look, keep on watching. Okay, I think I'm gonna put like a bit of a concoction on my face. I'm gonna use the Ordinary Niacinamide and I'm gonna mix it with this L'Oreal Revital Lift Moisturizer. This is fragrance free. And then I'll follow with sunscreen, obviously. I'm really into doing concoctions on my face lately. I'm feeling tired today for absolutely no reason. Then I'm gonna use this Paula's Choice Skin Restoring Sunscreen. I feature this in my best face sunscreens video, which I will link as well in case you want it. I'm gonna start with this um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in shade four medium. I bought a darker one because my face is a bit more tan in the summer. I'm actually kind of putting it almost everywhere, even though, well, I don't even know exactly what this is for, to be completely honest with you. I don't know if it's like a primer or I don't know, but I'm gonna use it kind of as like a light foundation, but it's super glowy. And then kind of gives you like a little bit of color and coverage, but like I really don't like very much coverage at all. I just bought this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I've only used it like once. It's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's pretty big, it's like bigger than the size of my hand. I feel like the color is slightly orangey. This is too medium, but let's give it a try. It actually comes up way prettier on the skin and like more natural, I would say. I haven't done um, like a talking makeup video in a long time and I feel like I don't really know what to say. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow. This is the Beauty Counter Classic Eyeshadow Palette. Beauty Counter is a clean beauty brand. I love them. Let's go in with Sahara. I don't remember the last time I put eyeshadow on, but I am feeling incredibly lazy. I'm like, I don't really feel like doing this actually. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with Cinnamon, just a little bit in the crease. This is such a good palette. And Beauty Counter also does a lot of work on getting the US like personal care legislature updated. It hasn't been updated since the 30s in terms of ingredients that are okay to use, which is super ridiculous and embarrassing. Canada's definitely better than the States, but not as good as um, the EU. a little bit of this on the bottom, why not? And then I always take a clean brush and just blend everything. And then they have this really pretty one, Penny. Do I want to use that? I don't know. Sure, let's put a little there. I mean, at one... Point. I could uh, I could do like a little bit of a flick. Sorry, <laughs> really? This is not a very like fun tutorial. Let's go. I'm gonna use this MAC Costa Riche. And then just like smudge it a little bit, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I love this color. Pencil, it's so pretty. I've been reading so much. 
I like read all of the Harry Potter books again, but, like finished right before JK came out with her transphobic tweets, which fucking really sucks. I wish that, <sighs> why did she do that? That's just terrible. Let's do some mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever, Pat McGrath Labs. She is a black makeup artist. She's like a fucking legend in the fashion industry and the beauty industry. And this mascara is so good. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself now that I have makeup on today. We have a lot of stuff open in Toronto right now. Not a lot, but like, we have some restaurant patios that are open and hair salons are now open, nail salons. I'm gonna get my nails done safely next week. Very excited about that. I just got my hair done at We Are A Nice Place Salon in Toronto. It feels so good, I have to say, as long as everybody's wearing a mask. My eyebrows are microbladed. I do have a few videos about that that I will link as well. I get a lot of questions about that. So I just bought this Pat McGrath concealer to try out and I've used it just a few times. I'm a little bit worried that it's quite like orangey peachy. I kind of don't like that look as much, but let's blend it out and see. It blends out pretty well, but I don't know. It just looks a little bit orange to me. I just like to like spot conceal and not wear a ton of like foundation or anything. That blends out really nicely though. When you first put it on, it looks so jarring and then it blends out a lot nicer. What else? Let's do some highlight. I just got this too. This is from Melt Cosmetics Stargazer Highlight. So we'll get some super glowy cheekbones going on and nose top of the lip i just feel like my cupid's bow looks a little bit weird on me whenever i highlight it i don't know why i feel like it looks way better on other people and then i'm also going to put a little bit in the corner of my eye too for that super glowy pop Okay, so I'm gonna do another coat of mascara. I always do two, it just makes my eyelashes look way better. And I always curl in between. I have to be careful when um, I put eyeshadow on because I, oh shit, I gotta do the bottom lashes. I normally will get mascara on my eye lid. And if you have eyeshadow on, it really fucks that up. So my camera cut off. That's so fun, and I just finished all my makeup. I'll just kind of go through with you what I did. So I used the MAC Glow Play Blush. This is in color Grand, and it's in the color Grand, and it's exactly the same color as my shirt, which is really cute. It's kind of like a powder cream texture, so it's really pretty. Then I went in with these lipsticks. This is from NYX. This is a new drugstore favorite for me. These are the suede lipsticks. This one is fetish. It's a little bit lighter and this one is dainty days. This is what I used. The texture is gorgeous. The color is gorgeous. It's really velvety but not too drying. So I was saying that I want to do a best drugstore products video and I would love for you guys to let me know if you're interested in that in the comments and if so what is your favorite drugstore product so that I can make sure that I do all my research before I put together my list. I feel like there's so many amazing products in the drugstore that people just kind of forget about because they always go for high-end stuff. Then the last thing I did was use this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is a limited edition, so pretty, to like give that kind of even more glow. Yeah, I'm obsessed with these lipsticks. And I have nowhere to go because I'm not going to be going on any patios or anything. I just don't want to risk it. It's not worth it, especially because Andrew's at the hospital and stuff. So, okay, here is the final look. Super glowy, really natural. 
perfect for summer. My hair is cut by Morgan and color is by David, both that We Are A Nice Place Salon. I'll put all their info in the description box. The jewelry is Anna Luisa and there's a code as well in the description box. Let me know what you guys think about the top drugstore products video. Subscribe, come hang out with me. I have lots of beauty and fashion videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.